Muchas gracias, embajador Moncada. Le ofrezco la palabra al embajador Gil, de Argentina. Gracias, señor presidente. Es para apoyar el texto tal cual ha sido distribuido por la Secretaría. Gracias. Embajador Clark, Canadá. Mr. Chairman, I'm the same, of the same view as uh, my friends from uh, Argentina and Brazil. I think that we should, um, it may not be a perfect text, the one that has been read out, but I think that it is an acceptable and honorable compromise given the positions that we have around the table, and I would urge its acceptance. Guatemala. Gracias, Presidente. En el mismo sentido que las tres delegaciones que me han antecedido en el uso de la palabra, no sin antes remarcar que más vale un mal acuerdo que un buen pleito. Y la situación que nos une aquí es la restauración de la democracia en Honduras, que pasa necesariamente por la reinstalación a la presidencia de la República del ciudadano José Manuel Zelaya Rosales. Si vamos a encontrar vertientes más perfectas, seguramente no van a ser viables. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Muchas gracias, embajador Esquincle, embajador de Santa Lucía. All right, Mr. Chairman, my delegation would like to see an English translation of the revised text so that we can make an appropriate decision on the matter. Yes. Gracias, embajador. Queremos tener el texto. Paraguay. Gracias, señor presidente. Al igual que otras delegaciones que me antecedieron la palabra, mi delegación dejé de dejar constancia que apoyamos el texto del proyecto presentado por la Secretaría. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Jamaica. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I had not proposed to speak because uh, Guyana had represented the views of CARICOM, and we still do. I would like to make an appeal to my friends around this table. We are losing valuable time, and we therefore could lose also relevance. The big news tonight <clears throat> on the TV will be Zelaya has returned. The world waits to hear a response from credible, credible institutions. So they don't have time for 10, 12 or 20. They will take the first two or three, and after that, kaput. The world will then say, but there are people who know about it, but the OAS said nothing. If we stay longer, the newspapers will also not have us in, or they will have you in one line. If we had accepted the resolution earlier, one hour ago or 90 minutes ago, we would have got in on the second paragraph, maybe even in the first paragraph, and therefore retain relevance. The second issue, on the streets of Tegucigalpa as we speak, People are listening to their radios and are watching the television to hear who supports, who does not support, should they do one way or the other. We want to support the return of Zelaya as a good act, as a brave act. We, can, without any doubt at all, everyone in this room is annoyed by the courage of this president, this legal president, who has returned to take up his place and to sign the San Jose Accord. We agree that this is what should be done. And instead of which, we are losing time to be respectful and diplomatic. I will not say waste time because all of us have the right to speak. All of us are brilliant people and understand all sorts of modalities. But at the same time, let us help Zelaya to, to regain his presidency. Let us allow the people in the streets of Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula and the other cities to know that the OAS supports him and wants the San Jose Accord signed so that we can get a new position tomorrow on the pages of 
the papers into Musigalpa and on the streets so that we solve the problem, not solve our main uh, problems here which are large, the semantic